Hello everybody, welcome back to Hobbies with Holly. Today I am going to attempt to make a custom welcome mat. I have never done this before, so we are going to find out how this, <laughs> how this plays out together. Um, I'm actually making this for my Aunt Sherry because she was the first person to share my first ever YouTube video. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and make her this as a thank you. So thank you, Auntie Sherry. Okay, so I got my blank mat here. I got some, well, I'm going to lint roll it to make sure we get all the, I don't know, fibers off. So that way we got a nice clean surface to work with. I'm going to be using freezer paper. Um, it is plastic coated, so when you use your heat press to heat it up, it does stay in place um, enough to be able to paint your mat. I also bought some um, sewing pins, all metal because we are heating it up like I said and you don't want your plastic pins to melt on your mat. Okay, and then instead of using paint, because I'm afraid that the paint over time is going to um, fade or wash or flake off, I don't know. So I'm going to use this Flex Seal. So Aunt Sherry, you're going to be my little guinea pig. Ask, <laughs> let me know if this works. If it doesn't, I'll make you another one using a different technique. But um, I'm going to attempt to use the Flex Seal liquid rubber and I'm hoping that that sticks to this mat and um, lasts longer than regular paint. Again, I'll be using my Cricut to cut out my stencil, my heat press to hold the stencil. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is measure, oh, okay, that's kind of big, measure how big my welcome mat is. And I think it was like 18 by 30 or something like that. Okay. Yeah, 18 by 30. Okay. So, next, I am going to go ahead and pull up Cricut Design Space and this is the design I made. So cute. It says, welcome to the Doolongs. We hope you brought beer and dog treats. <laughs> I don't know. I love it. I thought it was cute. So I'm going to, so I um, went ahead and made this brown box and I did the dimensions of my welcome mat. So that way I know that my design will fit on my welcome mat. So this is how it looks. And I'm going to go ahead and make sure everything is centered and then I will cut out my stencil. Okay, so it's got the freezer paper on there, plastic side down, and then all I'm going to do is just trim off all the excess. able to trim it down to size fingers crossed this works and we're gonna load it up I'm going to browse all materials and maybe they actually do have freezer paper because I know a lot of people have been using it and they do look at that see I always search and then that way your machine has its settings set and it won't cut through into your mat or it won't do anything crazy. It'll be cut to the right size. So they do have freezer paper there. So I trimmed it down as best as I could. I'm hoping that these edges don't catch.
Okay, now that we have our stencils all cut out, we're gonna go ahead and lint roll this. And don't mind my janky <laughs> lint roller. I lost my handle, so we're just gonna make do with what we got, right? All right, so all we're gonna do is just lint roll all these little bits. I'm sure there's probably a better way to do this, but you know, we're just making do with what we got. Oh, you know what? Duct tape would work. It's like the only thing I don't have is duct tape. I have everything else except for duct tape. So we're just going to go ahead and pat this. And then we will add our stencil and pin it on down. Okay, so I may or may not have like bit off more than I can chew because I kind of, kind of made this design really, um, <laughs> really complicated kind of got ambitious with it for my first one but that's okay we're just gonna roll with it and it's made with love so if it doesn't turn out perfect it's a handmade craft okay so all I'm doing is just applying um, all the insides to the letters that got left behind on the mat and reattaching those and once I get the other half of my stencil pinned down probably five years from now um, <laughs> once I get that pinned down we'll go ahead heat press it hopefully it'll stay down and then we're gonna flex seal it Okay, so now that I got my stencil completely pinned down, I'm not going to tell y'all how long that took. Um, I just know that I might change my YouTube name from Hobbies t with Holly to The Cussing Crafter. Because let me tell you, whew, this got it pinned down. I got my heat press, heat it up. I'm going to do... 30 seconds at 310 degrees. So let's give her a try. I'm gonna go right here first and applying pressure and starting my timer. Okay. okay. So that was 30 seconds. As you can see, it's kind of attached in places. I think I need to apply just a little bit more pressure, but I'm going to make sure everything is lined up. And I might even, actually, you know what? I might increase the temperature. Okay, we're back. As you can see, I got the stencil pretty much pinned down. Um, as best as I can get it. Um, there's a few spots that I'm hoping can hold it together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer this outside and then I'm going to go ahead and apply a couple layers of Flex Seal and then we will remove the stencil and see what it looks like. So here it is guys, the finished product. 
turned out way better than I thought it was going to, honestly. But it looks so good. I hope you love it, Sherry. Thank you so much for supporting me and sharing my videos. Again, everybody else that's been sharing, liking, all that stuff. Um, I am absolutely having a blast um, crafting and metal detecting and making these videos for you. And I hope you guys keep watching.